and we are off again today we are going to be taking the train to Mantova it is now about a little bit before 9 30 the train is at 10 30 so I'm going in good time it's a cold morning but we're loving it So I need to go through here to 23 further down. So you need your FFP2 mask guys. Huh? I love this part of the Milano Centrale. go to track 23 and we need to do this here yep okay so I'm here and that's the train I'm gonna be taking to Montova so let's get on board, we've got first class tickets, let's see what it's like. Sometimes first class and second class, not much difference, but we'll find out today. You can see there's a number two on that car, and there's this number one that's yellow. So that's first class and that's with the number two there's second class so you can sit up there or you can sit down here and since my bones are old and creaky I'm gonna sit down here and it says here first class as you can see so I can sit anywhere I want okay so you have seats facing one way or the other way or if you're traveling friends you can sit like that and there is some um, yep, place for you to charge so that's good lots of space on top for you to put your stuff although if you got a very stuffed backpack might not fit up there but yeah on the overall scheme of things, you know, there shouldn't be any problems. So there's a bit of a blind here to keep the sun out. And put it up to see what's outside. Still waiting to take off, of course. And we are off on the train right now and heading to Mantova. So the ride's gonna take about two hours, thereabouts. So we get there just in time for some lunch. So hooray for that! As you can see, it's a glorious day here in Mantova. The sun is out, people are out enjoying themselves. It's lunchtime, I'm getting hungry, so let's go look for some food. Okay, so we're gonna have lunch at this place that's recommended by the lady whose place that um, we're staying in for the next couple of days. This restaurant is called Grifoni Bianco. I guess that means white griffin. Um, it comes highly recommended, so we'll find out. And I'm hungry anyway, so here goes.
That was a super satisfying meal. Ah, and the sun is out now. It's really hot. It's a good day here in Montova. It's a good day. The Rotonda di San Lorenzo is both beautiful and mysterious. Nestled between monuments dating to later periods next to the Palazzo della Ragione and Piazza Arbe, and a few meters from the Basilica Sant'Andrea, its shape evoking the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem was probably completed in the last decades of the 11th century, a period in which Mantova and a large part of northern and central Italy was ruled by the Canossa dynasty and in particular by Matilda of Tuscany who profoundly humiliated the Holy Roman Emperor Henry IV. Here we have the small apse behind the altar and we also have a Christ on the cross dating back to the 20th century, a production of Stefano Locasso. Now, from what I understand, the interior of the rotonda was completely covered in frescoes and over time, of course, um, we don't see many of them, but this particular one survived and it's really, really lovely and it just totally caught my eye the moment I stepped into the rotonda. And this is the image of St. Lawrence or St. Lorenzo, the deacon who was born in Spain and was martyred during the persecution of the year 258. According to tradition, he was burnt on a gridiron with blazing wood beneath. Ouch. Just before dinner, we decided to make a quick dash to the Basilica Sant'Andrea, which was like literally just a few steps away from the apartment where we were staying. Um, the Basilica was going to close at 7 p.m. We thought we'd had enough time, so we made a mad dash for it. And no regrets. The Basilica of St. Andrea is a Roman Catholic co-cathedral and minor basilica in Mantova. It is one of the major works of 15th century Renaissance architecture in northern Italy. Commissioned by Ludovico III Gonzaga, the church began its construction in 1472 um, according to designs by one Leon Battista Alberti on a site occupied by a Benedictine monastery, of which the bell tower, built in 1414, remains. The building, however, was only finished a mere 328 years later. This basilica is so beautiful, guys. Um, I'm just going to let you enjoy how beautiful everything within this basilica is.